What's up guys, Tao here. We are back for another experiment test. Along with new iPhone 12 and 12 Pro launch, Apple also introduced this little thing, uh, looks like a pocket watch. It is the MagSafe iPhone charger. Now, according to Apple, it is capable of up to 15 watt charger, charging when paired with this 20 watt um, brand new charger. And yeah, when charged with the iPhone 12 and 12 Pros. So today, let's find out just how fast this little thing charge the iPhone 12 and 12 Pros. And also there are a few surprises and I also have some concerns about this uh, MagSafe iPhone charger. So if you're curious, stay with me. All right, before we go ahead, I just have the need to say something. They must have watched my previous video on the chargers. I think it's a disgrace for Apple still give you this pathetic So I guess I need to be very careful of what I'm wishing for. So in this video, I am wishing the next iPhone will have a big battery, will have Touch ID, will have USB Type-C port. There we go, you all heard it. Apple, make it happen, please. To fully understand this MagSafe charger, so I paired it with the 20 watt charger to charge the iPhone 12 Pros, um, just to see how long it actually take to fully charge the phone from zero to 100%. Now, just for comparison purpose, I also use this watt charger uh, with the uh, USB-C to Lightning, which is the cable included in the box. Thank God Apple you actually give a cable. And yeah, just to see what is the uh, difference and just set a benchmark or a reference uh, just to see how long uh, these things are gonna take to charge the iPhone 12 Pros. Now in terms of result, you probably guessed the wired version charge much faster or faster than the wireless version. You're absolutely right. So here is the result. As you can see from the result, there's no doubt the cable, cable version charge much much faster compared to the wireless version uh, in 15 minutes charge 26 percent and in half an hour actually go over 50 percent which matching the claim from apple it says we'll charge up to 50 uh, up to 50 percent uh, within 30 minutes which is fantastic if you need um, if you in need of quick charging there you go that's quick and easy now on the other hand the wireless version uh, I charge up to 13% uh, uh, within 15 minutes and 27% within half an hour, which is okay. Uh, it's not bad for a wireless charger. Um, the MagSafe actually took a one hour 43 minutes charge up to 80%. Um, in contrast, uh, 55 minutes and the cable version charged up to 80%, which is fantastic to see. Now in terms of fully charged the phone, Surprisingly, uh, to my surprise, the cable version actually took over two hours, two hours, 15 minutes, and the wireless version took two hours, 56 minutes, which is uh, a lot longer. Um, in terms of the wired version, I guess, um, by the time it close to fully charge and the, the wattage or the phone is gonna slow down dramatically uh, just to preserve the battery. So that's my guess. Now, to dive a bit deeper, to find out more about this MagSafe charger, um, I also use this Apple 30 watt charger and this Anker dual charger, uh, the USB Type-C capable, capable of 30 watts power delivery, the USB uh, capable of up to 12 watts um, charging speed. So just wanted in comparison to see how this charger do compared to the official 20 watt Apple charger. As you can see from the result, um, between the 10% or up to 30%, the 30 watt charger, uh, the Apple one and Anker one perform actually is pretty well. Uh, technically it's better than the Apple 20 watt charger. Um, actually is over the charging um, performance, which is 15 watts uh, advertised by Apple. It definitely reached a beyond 15 watt charging speed. Uh, at one point, a up to 19 watts, and then go back down stable around about 18.5, 18 watts, all the way through 30%, which is to my surprise, is quite impressive. On the other hand, together with the 20 watt um, Apple charger, it's performed at, at the first 10%, is really, really well, around about 18 watts, 
and then from the 20% up to 20%, again, it's fluctuate between 14 and 18%, uh, 18 watts, and up to 30% or 20 to 30%, it performed and run about 10 to 12 watts, which is really, really good as well. And for a wireless charger, it can perform beyond 10 watts. That is really, really good news. So most of them will perform between 7.5 and 10 watts. So now, here is the thing. Over 40% and up to run about 60% or four or 50%, the 20 watt charger performed quite stable, around about 11 watts charging speed. And the again, the Apple 30 watts and Anchor 30 watts perform Again, the same is fluctuate between around about 9 or 6 watts to up to 11 watts, which is stable. So you can see from um, 0 to 50 percent. So, so far, the Anchor and Apple 30 watts outperform the 20 watts, not, not by much, by very, very marginal. Now, if you charge through from 0% to 60 or 80% on individual charges, you might not notice huge difference. Maybe at the beginning up to 30%, the 30 watts will charge initially, boost charging a lot quicker, and then slow right down just to preserve the battery life because the battery is getting pretty warm when you charge very, very quickly. So. Beyond 60% and the 20 watt charger are gonna reduce to 9, 9 watts and 70% reduce to 7 watts and 80% uh, again stable around about 7 watts charging speed. So in comparison, the 30 watts, they just a little bit marginally higher uh, wattage compared to the 20 watts. So up to 11 watts at 60%, 70% up to 9 watts, 80% up to 9 watts. Now the reason I did not include up to 100% is after 80%, the charging speed, they are the same. So it's around about 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 watts. Uh, by the time fully charged, it's going to be 1 or 2 watts. So it's over 80%, the charging speed is, is the same. So we're going to focus on up to 80%. Now. One thing I want to point out that um, this is kind of a, a percentage charging. Now, if you char again, if you charge your phone from zero to hundred, always leave on charge. Doesn't matter you use a twenty watts. Doesn't matter you use the thirty or the anchor one. So it consistently charge. Now the problem is the heat. Now this thing get pretty warm throughout charging. Once the heat is getting to a certain degree, now the phone will automatically reduce the charging speed to preserve the battery. There's no exception, including the wired version. So even use wired version when the phone is getting hot, the phone will actually reduce the charging speed. Uh, this is how uh, Apple manage their battery lifespan um, in long, long term or longevity that will actually uh, preserve the battery life. So what are the surprises? Well, first one, uh, this is my big surprise. Now this, this massive charger technically is just a Qi compatible wireless charger. It will charge pretty much anything with a Qi compatible. Uh, Android phone, iPhone, AirPods, um, earbuds, Galaxy Buds, you name it, Google Buds. So they're all wireless compatible. Now, if you use this to charge the old iPhones, now this iPhone 10 and this iPhone 10R, paired with 20 watts, 30 watts or anchor one doesn't matter what you pair with it will not charge any higher beyond five watts yes you heard that right so the old iphones you will not benefit up to 15 watts fast charging when paired with magsafe and any of those chargers now i believe the iphone 12 there's a maybe there's a there's a chip inside or the charger knows is not iPhone 12s, so it will not output anything over five watts. The second surprise is that Apple claim this charging up to 15 watts. Well, technically it is correct, but the consistency is not there. So it only reach over 15 watts or up to 15 watts for the first 10, around about 10, 20%. And after that, the charging speed is gonna drop right down below 15 watts, well below 15 watts. 
So in terms of consistency, it's not there, but technically it is over the Apple claim. So technically it's all right, but I'm just surprised he only, um, it only lasts a short period of time for up to 15 watts of charging. The third surprise is that this anchor charger actually works. So which means technically, if your brick with the USB power delivery output, USB type C, and the, the voltage ranging between five volts, nine volts, and the, the ampage up to three amp, uh, technically you can take advantage of this 15 watt, up to 15 watt fast charger. Right, what are my concerns? Well, technically there are two main concerns from me. One is the connection between the actual charger. This is quite flimsy. Um, I'm concerned about in long term, just like any other Apple made cable, the lightning cable, the USB-C cable, any kind of cable, this, the, the joints is always, always an issue. So over times, um, if you're not careful about it and it's gonna break, and if it breaks, you're gonna have to spend another 39 pounds, or in the UK it's 39 pounds, to buy one of the charger. So yeah, that's another cost uh, adding onto it in the future maybe. Um, Apple could easily make a, a braided stronger cable. Now because this you constantly pick it up and here is gonna be um, very likely gonna be damaged in long term if you're not be careful. So please be careful if you have this charger and handle with care. Second concern for me is actually the magnets. Now, the magnets are welcome, but when actually you put it on, you can see here, because it's metal against glass, so initially you should be all right, but eventually, if you, again, if you're not careful, you could leave a mark for long-term charging usage. And uh, yeah, because again, the back glass is pretty strong, but not as strong as the front-facing glass. It just, my concern is after a while, you're gonna leave a mark on it. And also, if you do use case, and also for those people who was wondering, will it work? If you use a non-Apple case, um, here's a non-Apple case. And yeah, as you can see here, it works. It's not as strong as without case, but it works actually if find the um, find position. Um, now let me just show you how strong the magnet is. To actually, to my surprise, it's pretty strong. And after you click on that, and you can literally dangling around. It's um, now this is not recommended, but if you really want to do this, it works. So, there you go. So actually, it's pretty strong. All right, guys, this is it. Thank you very much for watching, and hopefully this video helped you guys to understand uh, the MagSafe charger uh, or uh, the fast charging, how the fast charging works. And if you guys have any opinion or if you guys use this charger or with different plugs, um, please leave the comment down below so other people will benefit from the comments so they don't need to waste time and money to buy the things which will not work. Yeah, please leave a comment. So that's it. See you guys in the next video.